What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Desk of Pens, back at it again. I have been gone for some time. I have been fighting the good fight of finals, which have actually gone quite swimmingly, and I'm actually um, very, very, very happy about it. I uh, got a 100 on a test that I thought that I got a 40 on, so that was quite a pleasant surprise, and I was like, hey, that's kind of amazing. And so, yeah, um, right now, like, I'm I'm still kind of in, in the thick of it, but imagine it's like a hurricane, you know, the left side passed you, and now you're in the eye of the hurricane, and then the right side's gonna come up again, and boom, hit you pretty hard. But, yeah, uh, overall, the, the hard part is still over. You know, I just got, like, two more tests that I feel very confident about and uh, everything, and so, yeah. Um, and uh, thank you all for the... Uh, Good luck wishes on um, on finals. I saw a lot of people reach out. That was really nice. So today I have a wonderful treat for you all. I, um, as you guys know, um, I really love to, uh, you know, like interact with you guys and, you know, try and um, go out there and uh, try to um, at least try to like find the pens that you guys like want me to like review and like look at and stuff. Right. And uh, <clears throat> somebody just kind of commented down below and they're like, hey, you know, you should um, do a video on like fountain pens. And I'm like fountain pens. I'm like, huh. I'm going to actually think about that. Okay. And so um, I kind of I kind of went through and <clears throat> I don't have too many fountain pens, but I mean, I, I have enough to kind of uh, have um, an interesting little like, like playlist on them. And right now, <clears throat> we're just going to kick it off with probably, arguably, my fanciest fountain pen, which is <clears throat> Across Bailey. Let me just right there boom this is a medium sized tip and this is from cross this is my first review on one of my cross pens i have a lot of those those will come up later um yeah and so yeah um <clears throat> i've had this pen for a little while uh and honestly with fountain pens like i don't know why like call me the devil but i've always just kind of preferred rollerball ballpoint and gel like i i like that conical tip i don't know why like I don't dislike this. I think it's fine, but I think <clears throat> for my purposes, I kind of prefer more conical tic, uh, tips usually, but it's still, it's still very beautiful and it still writes amazing, you know? And like, I still use this quite a bit, so much so um, I'm actually down to my last cartridge actually. Uh, it's just not like an EDC, obviously, you know, it's a journal pen. It's, you know, kind of jot my thoughts kind of pen. Uh, this is blue, black ink, but you know, I'm kind of down to my last one. And, or no, um, but it's not something <clears throat> that, you know, I'd carry off to, to, to class with me. That'd be more a space pen, a pilot acro ball, something different. Anyway, but yeah, this is, it's, 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 um, it's still quite beautiful. I, I should probably show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of fully closed, which is this, you know, it's got a nice cap on it. Um, I've tried to take the cap and sort of drop it on here and just keep it there. Uh, it doesn't do that too well. My Waterman Rollerball does that quite well, but this guy, I don't know why, it just, it doesn't get good suction. So when you're writing, you're just going to have to go like this, you know, cap in one hand, this in the other, or you put down the cap. And I mean, the nice thing is it won't roll away, but still, you want to be careful. Anyway, going, <clears throat> going into the design of it though. So on the clip, you have cross up here. You kind of have a chrome deal. You know, it's, it's a, uh, it's a black lacquer with chrome accents. Um, I don't know if you guys can see these, but they're kind of, it's a little, um, I guess sort of edged kind of like diagonally. I'm actually just noticing that for the first time. I thought it was more, uh, oh, what's that called? Wow. That's a bear. More knurled where, you know, it kind of like crosses over M more like checkered, but I guess not actually. It's just more, you know, kind of di <clears throat> kind of diagonally, like a sort of cross like this i think i think it's quite nice um i very much enjoy it this is kind of the nose of it you know i think at the time that i got this i think it was 20 bucks now it goes for 34 so the price is definitely rise but i mean this is still a really really nice fountain pen if you guys are looking for you know just something in that range and just high quality like this is a very high quality pen like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna deny that fact i think it's actually very very good and so, you know, it's just, it's just not my cup of tea, if that, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's get to, to some writing. So Cross, Bailey, fun fact, um, I shot this video before and uh, I uploaded it. Uh, yeah, I, um, I uploaded it, it, there we go. And um, I called it the Cross Calais Fountain Pen, but no, it's the Cross Bailey Fountain Pen, which is kind of funny, you know? 
fountain pen. Yeah, I have a lot of um, cross Calais, uh No, I have two cross Calais, um ballpoint pens, and so I think that's why I uh, I called it that. Cross Bailey fountain pen. I'm actually trying to sell one of my cross Calais uh, ballpoint pens, so reach out if you guys want to know about it. Medium. Medium, um, oh, blue black ink. This is called blue black ink, which I can see small hints of blue, but I still feel it's more black than it is blue. Yeah, but blue black is always a really interesting color combo. Blue black ink. Very, very nice. I very much enjoy this. Yeah, let's check that out, huh? Booyakasha. Um, yeah, let's do a little bit of a smear test. And <clears throat> because we know that it's a fountain pen, I'm not really going to do like a highlighter test. In general, that's not what these guys are marketed as, honestly, nor are they really made for. It's like, it's not meant to be, you know, highlighted with. It's not meant to, you know, kind of do the things that, <clears throat> you know, like a hybrid ink would do, if that, if that makes sense. So let me just go ahead. Yeah, and then Sumerian, I mean, I think it's a quick dryer, but we'll also just kind of see right now. Huh. Pretty quick. Not a lot of smearing going on. A little bit at the end there. Here. Wait, let me just put this down. Sorry. Okay. Okay. If you'll notice, a little bit of smearing right there. But other than that, it's not too bad. You know, dragging my hand along it. It seemed pretty good. Now we're just going to do a little skip test. Wow. Okay, that's smooth. I enjoy this. Yeah. Huh. Darn shame on, on my last cartridge. I'll have to grab some more. Whew. Wow. That's enjoyable. You know. Yeah. I feel like, even though I'm not the most into fountain pens, like... It's always nice to just have one. And, 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 you know, it doesn't have to be just this. You know, it can be something like this sucker right here. Um, a future video is coming up on this one. This is a, an Uli fountain pen. Uh, you can see it's kind of, you know. But anyway, uh, but yeah, something really cheap like this. Like, I think I got this in a pack of 10 for... No, 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 a pack of 3 for 10. And then this one I got for like $5.99. Um, yeah, so, you know, and they're both very, um, very high quality, right outside of Carlsbad, California, which is cool. Anyway, yeah, um, and I will do videos on those later, but this is still uh, a very nice option. It's a very beautiful pen. It's, you know, it's very, it's very simple, but elegant, you know, like I don't, I don't say simple to try and insult it. I say simple to, you know, just kind of compliment, um, it's like the overall, like, beauty and the direction that the designer took to make it just, you know, very defined, very, very nice, honestly. You know, like, this is a nice pen. This is something that you could, you know, get somebody as a, uh, get for somebody as a gift. This is something that, you know, you could uh, get yourself as a gift or something. You know, it's, um, it's something that, you know, you could kind of take and, like, sign your name to to be like, oh, I'm buying a house. Let me go get that favorite pen. Of course, mine would be in my Meisterstück. My ballpoint, that's what I will sign my house stuff with. It's also what I'll sign a lot of different things with. But, you know, this is also just a great option, too. You know, and, like, I, I, I have to say, like, I do enjoy this thing. And I, like, yeah, I'm on my last cartridge, but, like, <clears throat> I do wish that I kind of use this thing more. You know, just for, like, other, I guess, more practical things or something. Like, I do use it occasionally for journaling. It works really well um, with my journaling paper. Um, I use it a little bit for, like, taking notes, uh, but, you know, the drawback is it's not the best when it comes to highlighting. Um, I can still underline with it, though, so th that's that's always nice, you know, but I'm kind of big on highlighting, in, <laughs> in case you guys can't tell. Uh, and yeah, 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 and so, um, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, overall, this is just a beautiful pen. It's very, very nice. Uh, you can find them on Amazon for about about thirty four dollars, I'm pretty sure, um, and I think that's about the price that their um, that their fountain pens are. Uh, but yeah, this has been my first video, or no, my first video. This has been my first video on a fountain pen, 
and um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know um, if there's a certain way that you guys want me to kind of test uh, to yeah to test the fountain pen. Um, I am kind of new to this world, or no, well not new, but still very novice. You know, I'm not the most uh, sophisticated when it comes to being able to 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 talk about these, but they're still very very nice. Um, I do recommend it. I think it's very good. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And that is my video on the Cross Bailey fountain pen, not the Cross Calais. <laughs> anyway, okay, guys, you have a wonderful rest of your day for me. Take care. And this is Jessica Pens signing off. Bye.